Hey everybody, today we're talking about coarse sponge pads and why I think everyone should own a bunch of them and use them and optimize filters. Now, I've done a lot of videos on optimizing filters, so we're gonna kind of glance a bunch over all of that and go straight to how do I use this product. So first, it's cut to fit. You can cut it with scissors, just like this, to any size you need, whether it's a canister filter, whether it's a hang on back filter, or whether it's you know, some other crazy sump type filters as well. And we're gonna show you a little bit of all of that real quick. Now, one of the things I'm gonna get started, an aqua clear. This filter is dang near perfect off the shelf. It's hard to optimize, except for in a couple of ways. This is an aqua clear 30, we're gonna go real quick. One of the main culprits that lead to dissatisfaction with this filter is if you let gunk build up, this starts rising up. As it gets plugged up, it could technically flood, right? But we could replace this super fine foam with this coarser foam. This will essentially prevent that. Now, if you neglect it for forever, like way, 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 way too long, even this is gonna clog. But let's say this clogs in a month, this might clog in nine months, right? So all we have to do is cut a couple pieces out. Super easy, we're just gonna you know, make a cut and we're gonna make another cut. So even right there, we've added on to it. We're adding on to our bricks. So you can see, and hopefully the, uh, the cameras will catch that, but we've got essentially very coarse and much finer. Now you could run it this way if you wanted a coarse pre-filter and some mesh up top, or not mesh, but finer sponge, but you can also just keep cutting blocks and fill this up all the way. We can cut another one out. And you can see here, this is only five bucks, so you could hot rod quite a few filters with one pad even. So we're gonna go cut another one, and it's not an exact cut here, like because a sponge has so much give, you can just keep kind of cutting them up, and now we've got a full bin. Now I personally would do all of the coarser black sponge all the way up and prevent it from ever clogging, never worrying about it, but now you've got maximized filtration all the way through. Easy. This is one of the easier ones to maximize. There's one other um, optimization here, if I can grab the intake that I always do, and that is grab yourself a pre-filter sponge. This is the medium. I recommend the mediums on uh, Aquaclear 30 and 50. Goes right on like that. So now you've got even more. So we've taken and added quite a bit of biological capacity and mechanical capacity. Boom, that's an easy one to do. I think everyone understands how that one works. Now some of the harder ones are gonna be some of these bigger brutes that come with cartridges. This one comes from Walmart. I just went out and bought one specifically for this demonstration so that it would resonate with a lot of people that don't have kind of a local fish store hanging out. So, I've never opened this before. I don't know what I'm getting into. We've got a couple of cartridges. That's the main goal we want to replace. And then we've got some reusable plastic. This will grow bacteria. So we don't have to get rid of these. I'll probably use them and I'll show you how. And then we've got a bunch of space. Now, we should look at, I should install it so if someone that doesn't own one of these yet knows what they're getting into. You'd put one of these in and you'd have one of these in. If I can, there we go. So that's what you're looking at, you know. Now, I'm probably gonna leave this installed and we're gonna modify this to see the difference here. So this can be useful. It's reusable, I like that and we're gonna see the best way we can fit this in. So there's two ways. You can fit it in very close. I don't think this is the best way, right here. So the best, because it's flush against it, no water's gonna go through. On the other way, there's a little bit of a gap there. So I would install it that way where you keep the little bit of a gap, and it also comes in and out easier. Now, we just wanna fill up uh, the remaining part. So. I've got this that we use from the video, so we're just gonna take this out. We're gonna line it up. So we're just gonna make a very coarse cut. And you can always trim down later if you need to, but I find I like it to be a little bit snug in there. I 
All right, so now we have a piece roughly the same. We go to put that back in. Boom, reusable cartridge right there. Now there's some other things we could do. We could think about just putting two of these in. That will work also. I kind of like that idea because it'll fit. So I got to grab another pad and let's see. A lot of this, everyone always asks me, what exactly should I do for my, my hang on back? And the reality is you got to have a little bit of trial and error. So each pad's five bucks. Yeah, you're in this for 10 bucks, but buying cartridges is going to be way more than that. And they're going to get dirty much faster. So we're going to make another one here. Real easy, just cut it to a very loose same size. All right. Now we can put that in there. Put them together. Slide it right back in. That's a pretty filled container. Now, if you let this get super duper duper clogged, this is going to potentially overflow. Think about it. We're putting water through here. If this got really clogged, which it is really coarse, it could, uh, could overflow if it came back through here. So you could trim this down a little bit. We could do something like this. We could come back and we could trim just a little bit off the top. If we want to make sure that no matter what, it's never going to overflow. We do that on the front piece as well. Now we put them back in. Now it's riding lower. Now another thing you could do to hot rod this, if you're worried about this part ever getting clogged up, come back in here and cut out a little cutout. So we might do something like this. We're gonna lose a little bit of our space. Just like that. But now you can see it would, water would, it'd have to clog way up in here to not bypass through the front. So you've created a little bypass there. All right, so let's take a look at what we've done so far. And that is maximize this versus something we have to throw away all the time and something reusable. Now it's up to you whether you wanna try and maximize here. I have a feeling that I would just go with the single personally. I would go with this and this with this filter. There's other filters that are set up differently, so we'll go over that. I feel like that's pretty darn good, just because it's gonna be really easy to service, comes in and out real easy, and you've got water can go all the way around it. That's how I would personally do it. I'd get rid of the cartridges. I would not have cut that part out, but there you go. Now you've got those two. Now we're not done, we can still optimize this a little bit more. We need the filter parts. So we've got the impeller and uplift tube. People get into a lot of like, oh, how am I gonna put an intake sponge on this because it's got this going on, right? Well, here's one of the things you could do. First, you don't have to have this intake on to make it work. You could do this, right? But it's a little bit, a little bit. Let's see if it would be right here. So that, when you put it towards the glass, will probably just hold itself. The other thing you could do is you could take a little piece of this and you could kind of plug that hole a little bit. Again, we're using this pad. I use it all the time for all types of things. And now it's a snugger fit, right? So just by adding a little bit more sponge because every different tube to every filter is slightly different. We build, we build these or make these so that they fit most types. But in this one, since you can't use a square cage, you put a little bit of sponge in there just keep it tight. Boom. There you go. Could be your 75 gallon tanks now hot rotted. We've added insane amounts of service area. Let's think about that. You used to have basically two sets of these. Now you've got all of this plus this. So, and you're not buying new cartridges. So that's one way to kind of spend for this in particular build. You're into it for about 20 bucks, reusable parts for the rest of the life of the filter. Super easy, hot rod that Walmart filter. What do we got next? We have a whisper filter. This is where I, this is the first filter I ever learned to hot rod. They actually discontinued it because it's such a good filter. It's hard to find these days. 
All right, so this one, this is where I learned to hot rod, right? Because it self is self hot rodding. They already had this system. That's where a lot of us learn this system. Like, wait a second, that works really well. But they didn't want to lose the sales of having the cartridge, right? So you still got the stupid cartridge that they want you to spend money on all the time. This one's even more kind of useless than your average one. But, you know, you'd slide that bad boy in there. Just like that. And this one just flops around in there. That's the hilarious part. Well, I guess technically you're supposed to, you're supposed to click those two together, but we can maximize this as well. This pretty decent. I wouldn't necessarily get rid of that. I might leave that, but I'm going to cut a piece to get in there. Let's see. Do we have not quite wide enough? So I'll cut another pad here. Wait, I've got another from a different video, a different project. Look at that. That's going to work right there. We just cut right here. There you go. We've maximized it. We got rid of this little bit of carbon we're not gonna use because we're probably doing a planted tank and this fine filter that clogs up. And uh, same again, we're gonna optimize that intake just because why not? So let's say this is how your intake is gonna be. We need a medium for this one. I can steal that off this AquaClear right there. Boom, made to do it, perfect fit. This one is a perfect fit for this one. No modification needed there, super easy. All right, we're moving on to like sumps and uh, internal filters here. That's what this guy is. And we're gonna go over this just real quick. This has internal hang, or not hang on back, but internal filtration behind an overflow. All we've done is cut sponges to utilize that compartment. It used to come with this system right here, which is kind of useless. I mean, it is usable, but you know, obviously you can see, oh wait, if I start stacking sponges, that's way more surface area than these two little things, right? So that's all we did. We basically just go, oh yeah, look at that. I cut a piece there. I cut a thinner piece for over here. I'm doing this blind, so it's kind of hard to see, but get in there and then we reuse this piece because it's still just foam and that other piece that we were cutting for that other filter was a leftover so that easy they're five bucks they're pretty much never going to go bad and i say never if you're really just ranking on them and cleaning them really hard then yes you're gonna have to replace them like every five years but you should get 10 plus years out of these and they are a very coarse foam so they don't clog up there's finer pads like we have very fine felt pads you can buy if you want uh, and interlace those but this is the way I set up hang on backs when I use them. I want to service them the least amount. I want them to be able to be neglected so they won't flood until I get to them. Sometimes Christmas is happening. And uh, I hope you guys start optimizing your filtration. You don't have to get rid of these pads if you don't want to, but a lot of these things you can at least enhance what you're already doing.